Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm gonna make a simple blue cheese bacon burger using the Cinder Grill, Smart Grill. Do a little bit different. I'm gonna make it nice and thick, and I'm gonna wrap the bacon all around the burger. So when it comes out, we have a nice thick patty that's wrapped completely in bacon. And then I'm just gonna make it simple with a little bit of blue cheese. I'm gonna season it up real simple, but I'll be right back. Show you how I'm gonna do it. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. Alright guys, this is gonna be a real simple burger and it is National Hamburger Month, so and in two days it's National Hamburger Day. I was gonna release this burger on National Hamburger Day, but Cinder Grill, the people who make the Cinder Grill, DeSora, is doing a special for Memorial Day weekend where they've dropped the price 30% on the Cinder Grill and it's only $349 until the end of Memorial Day. So I thought I'd get this video out there. So it gives it a couple days if you guys want to check it out. Get one while it's 30% off on sale. Um, it's a really cool, you know, precision cooking device. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some 80-20 burger that I just had. It's only me today for lunch. My wife and daughter are out and uh, party for her drama club and my son's working. So today was a perfect day for me to go ahead and just make my own burger for lunch. So now what I'm gonna take is about, about a third of a pound of 80-20 chuck. And I got two pieces of parchment paper here, and I'm going to take a ball of the burger and just put it between the two pieces of parchment. And I use a, uh, this is like a, a top to a rice container from Costco or something like that, that I found works really good in um, shaping the burgers into the right uh, size that I like, size and shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and push this down on top of the burger patty. Some of it might squish out of the bottom, but that's all right. We just wanted to get the general shape. Like I said, I'm going to make this a pretty thick burger. And I want to make it medium rare. Using the cinder grill, we're going to be able to do that. So I'm going to kind of shape this burger really nice. I want it to fit on my ciabatta bun. Don't want it overflowing. The ciabatta buns aren't that big. Those are the ones you buy at the bakery at uh, your local grocery store. So once I got that shaped, you can see it's probably about uh, almost a half inch, maybe uh, almost an inch thick here. So it's good patty size. And what I'm gonna do, before I wrap it in bacon, I'll wash my hands up a little bit first. I'm going to go ahead and season it with the Atlanta Grill Company's Himalayan Sherpa, which is pretty much just pink salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Hit it on both sides. Get a nice coating of that. And then I'm gonna take a couple pieces of this uh, Hormel Black Label Bacon, where it's really thin. And I'm gonna go ahead and make kind of place it right on top of the burger. And like I said, I'm gonna wrap this completely in the bacon. I'm gonna have three slices that way. I'm just gonna do two slices the other way. It's gonna be a pretty good patty with the, with the bacon. So five big pieces of bacon. So I went ahead and put it on the top. And what I'm just gonna flip it over here and make sure that that bacon folds over real well. And as you can see, covers the patty completely. Since we're gonna be cooking this in the cinder grill, it's gonna be holding that bacon in place. So the bacon's got nowhere to go. It's gonna just be cooking the bacon and the meat at the same time. So, got that all on there. I'm gonna wash my hands up just a little bit again. And that bacon. All right. 
Then I'm going to re-season it one more time with the Himalayan Sherpa, salt, pepper, and garlic. So that's our patty. It's about almost an inch thick. I've got five pieces of bacon wrapping the patty up. And I'm going to get my cinder grill ready, and then we're going to put this bad boy on. So I'll be right back. All right, all, if you've watched any of my other cinder grill videos, you'll know that this has a killer cooking app. I've gone ahead and opened it up to that already. I'm going to go ahead and hit the food guide and hit hamburger. And it gives me the doneness options. So rare, medium, rare, medium, well done. I'm going to do medium rare. It's giving me a temp of 130 degrees. I'm not going to check that it's frozen. I'm going to go ahead and put the burger. And I'm going to put this one right in the middle. Since it's a good sized burger. You see that? I'm going to put it right in the middle of the grill. Close it up. And get my app back here and just hit begin cooking. Yeah, and there it says cooking process. This is starting to go. It's telling me the temp of the grill, what it's going to go to, and how long. It's going to take 74 minutes. So that should have plenty of time to pasteurize that hamburger and start rendering some of that bacon fat down and then we're going to take it off and we're going to sear it so i'll be back in about 74 minutes all right guys my uh, alarm just went off on the cinder telling me it's time to take this off but yeah buddy it does not look good right now does it just needs to uh sear that is for sure so just like you would with a regular sous vide cook we're gonna go ahead take that off clean this mess up a little bit so I am gonna go ahead and crank the heat up all the way to sear and I'm gonna let that come up to temp shouldn't take too long climbing at about uh, two degrees a second here so that's 131 and I'll be back in about five minutes or so I'm ready to sear it I'll be back all right so it's ready we're gonna go ahead and get our burger on sounds ready to me lock that down hit the timer I might let this go a little past the 45 seconds to make up for that bacon. Look at that. I think that's enough. Get a close up of that. This one pretty good. I just want it to sear it. I don't want it to overcook it. So it's ciabatta bun. It did turn out to be a pretty awesome sized burger there. Put a little bit of blue cheese on the uh, bun. Take care of that. Put it on the bottom. A little bit on both sides. That's it. No lettuce, no tomato, nothing. Just meat, cheese, bacon. There you go. Nice medium rare. Nice and pasteurized. Mmm. Bacon's nice and crispy on top and the bottom. That's perfect. Perfect burger. On the cinder grill. Check it out guys. Like I said, this Memorial Day weekend it's on sale for $3.49 for a limited time. Check it out. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
make sure you follow us on our Facebook uh, groups and page. Make sure you check out the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. And I'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.